here we are, unboxing this on camera for the first time seen by the world, unheard of by the model horse community. This is a very exciting day and package. You will remember this for the rest of your lives. <laughs> I'm actually going insane. Let's do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? You should be ready. A little bit of backstory behind this. Um, this person had two of these briars. So how does this make it the rarest briar in the world? Well, I'll explain. So this girl had two of these guys available. And so I contacted her and I wanted to purchase both. And she was like, yeah, sure. And then while we were dealing with shipping issues, she went and she sold one of them underneath me. And so like, I wasn't like super stoked about the situation, but I was like, whatever, I'll still take the one because I still want the one because it's very rare. It's very hard to find. So she's like, I'll make it up to you and I'll send you something unique in the box. So I don't know what's in this box that's unique, but there's something special. So let's see if we can find it. She sent <laughs> literal like fluff. Okay. There's something in here. Uh, okay. A saddle. <laughs> hey, that's kind of cool actually. I've never seen like Briar's plastic saddle. Maybe I could re-sculpt it. More fluff, more bags. There's something else in here. Um, a receipt. Oh my god. <laughs> what the actual <laughs> What? What happened to it? Oh my god. This is insane. I don't even know what's happening right now. It's like definitely broke in the box. Oh, that's so sad because it did have a leg. This is like kind of creepy. <laughs> it's an Alvarosa stable mate, but something really dramatic happened to it. Its front legs are like gone. <laughs> Cool because it still looks like an Alvarozo, but it's like funked. But the, the front legs are <laughs> freaking me out. So <laughs> I'm really scared. I don't know what's in here. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, she bought me a paintbrush. <laughs> That's a really good paintbrush. <laughs> I will use that for sure. And uh, paint markers in silver and gold. That's fun. And a goodie bag. <laughs> so crazy. This is like the rarest unboxing video now. It's not even about the model, it's like what is in the box. There's two buttons. One is the Alvarozo button, one is the bouncer button. Uh, multimedia mat. Oh, that's interesting though. Oh, and um, fabric paint. <laughs> I needed fabric paint. I can't show it to you because it's going to spoil it, so we're going to reveal the shirt after we open the package. Um... Oh, she wrote me a letter. DJ, I hope this makes up for my shittiness. I respect you and look up to you and let my greed get the best of me. Enclosed is some stuff to aid you on your, bri on your briar journey. Also enclosed is a custom I made just for you. That is a custom if I ever did see a custom myself. Name is Overcut. He thought all that glitters is gold until his layers were stripped away. Now he stumbles to catch his footing. Yeah, because he lost his leg. P.S. Look at the model's name on the box. Are you buying models again? <laughs> This is the journey. <laughs> TJB, you have over 400 models already. Sweetheart, we need to pay rent. <laughs> you should probably witness this. This is the custom by this girl. I don't even know how you make a prior do that. <laughs> no way. What? Okay, are you ready for this? I don't think anybody's ready for this. I'm not ready. <laughs> Nobody's been ready for this. I'm not even ready for this. It's the one, the only, the legendary Alvaronzo! This is the misnamed <laughs> one. There it is. Alvaronzo. What was his name supposed to be? <laughs> Alvaronzo. So the deal with this particular model is that it was a 2008 Briarfest celebration horse. So he actually was at Briarfest and this was the model you got with your three-day ticket. Now, after the festival, for whatever reason, Briar was like, this horse is too special to ever be replicated, so they broke the mold. So they do not have the mold anymore. The 
them all just gone. So the only Alvarozas that exist in the world are the ones... No, no. He's one of the guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> that exist in the world are the ones from those ticket sales. So I think there's like only 5,000 or so of you guys in the world. And a lot of them are getting customized now. But there is only one. Alperanto. <laughs> Is this from that girl she on said, Instagram? She sent me a letter. You have a hilarious Instagram. <laughs> that was a journey. She also made me a shirt. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my... Alperanto, yeah! No, it's Alperanto, yeah. Oh, sorry. It should have been Alperanto. My bad. <laughs> I know, that was, that was too much. I've never done that kind of an unboxing because I had no idea what was in there. It's a, it's a Christmas ornament, essentially. Like... Oh my god, we could put it on the tree. Because we, Imagine... we have really good, nice horse ornaments for our tree, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mom collects dollar store horses and puts <laughs> ribbons on them so we can hang hey, them on the tree. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a That's bold nice claim here. That's nicer than a dollar here. store horse, though. It is. I'm gonna make a bold claim. I think... This is not, like, you're comparing it to a briar, which it was made out of. But I'm comparing it, like, just as an art piece. That's pretty cool. I don't, I've never seen someone make a briar like that, or make a briar into that. So I gotta say, I gotta give, like, creative props on that. You have to, re you have to kind of repair it, though. Well, the other leg is in one of these bags. <laughs> he thought all that glitters is gold, and still his layers were stripped away. <laughs> I don't think you saw it good enough. You have to turn it a little bit because like you can't see the stuff. Funky. So not only the rarest Alvarozo in the world because he's Alvaronzo, but the rarest stable mate you ever did see. <laughs> I originally wanted two because I wanted to customize one and I wanted to hoard one as a collector's item in my life like new in box because I already have an Alvarezza that has done very well for me in shows and he's my favorite ever. I've seen it. And so the question that I want all of you guys to respond, should I customize it or should I leave it in the box? In the box. Then I need to find another one <laughs> to, Get another one. to customize. Come on, that is such a cool collector's item. Alvarezza. Being, <laughs> being a mistake. He's really nice too. Like I feel terrible trying to customize that. I think I can find another one at Briarfest. Okay, I'll leave so you can end this video. Well, I don't know what to say. Have a I good don't know one. what to say at this point. Follow DJ B Studios on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. There you have it. The world's rarest Briar model horse. You will never find one like him. Unless someone did find one like him and there was a couple mislabeled as Alvaronzo. Maybe they were all Alvaronzo. So the question I want you to answer in the comments, should I leave him in box as is, or should I take him out and customize him? So thank you so much for watching, and follow, subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff if you want to see more crazy content. I'm sure I will never get a package as crazy as that though, but 